We begin with this, a deadly out of control wildfire in Northern California suddenly exploded overnight. The car fire burned dozens of homes in the Redding area north of Sacramento. Hundreds more are threatened. A bulldozer operator was killed and three firefighters were injured. One official says the fire is taking down everything in its path. Evacuation orders expanded quickly overnight as the fire spread. The chaotic exodus caused massive traffic jams as thousands of people fled. Some were forced to drive through the fire. The car fire is one of at least five major wildfires burning in California. Joe Vasquez of our San Francisco CBS station KPIX is in Reading. Joe, good morning. Good morning, and you can see that wall of flames here behind me on the hillside looming over West Reading. It was a frightening and chaotic night last night as that fire just came raging through city subdivisions. The fury of the car fire took the town of Reading by surprise late Thursday as flames jumped the Sacramento River and engulfed the area. Reading is home to some 92,000 people. This is that new normal, that unpredictability, the large explosive growth fires. Officials say a private bulldozer operator was killed. The operator was working on an active section of the car fire. We're in the process of notifying next of kin. We can confirm that we have additional firefighters and civilian injuries. As night fell, worried homeowners watched the flames get closer and closer. Oh my God, everybody's like panicking and going crazy and everybody's just trying to leave. Wind whipped flames made roads nearly impassable. Evacuees quickly filled the highway out of town with bumper to bumper traffic. A Reading news station even had to abruptly end its fire coverage. We are going to leave the station because it is now unsafe to be here. The fire destroyed homes and an historic schoolhouse in the nearby town of Shasta. Since it ignited on Monday, it has scorched dozens of square miles and is far from contained. This fire is extremely dangerous and moving with no regard for what's in its path. The National Guard has been called in to help with the firefighting effort as well as evacuations. But Nora, right now, there's not a lot of firefighting taking place. They are focusing on trying to save some lives. Joe Vasquez, thanks.